So today we're going to look at Placemaker. So Placemaker is an extension that you can purchase for SketchUp and it's great for urban design. So the first ne thing you need to do is you need to geo-reference your location. So if you click on Placemaker, you can click on Select a Place. Then if we were to search Auckland CBD, And let's just do Auckland only. Okay. And we'll get a little bit of water, maybe just to make it interesting. And then of course you can zoom in. Alright, so let's say we're happy with this area here that we want to bring into SketchUp, so we can select the area, and then import area, so we've got that there, and as you can see, um, with the standard maps of SketchUp now, um, now that it's no longer owned by Google, they're not very good. So with Placemaker, um, you can purchase credits and download specific areas, so if I expand that out, I can refresh the camera to see what sort of quality I might be able to achieve with a different um, image provider such as Digital Globe or Near Map USA. Then what you do is you click on Import Map Tiles, but you first just need to um, right click on your map and unlock it, select the surface and then click on the imagery button. And then this is where you can purchase more credits if you want and you just select download and it will then uh, basically grid out your image and apply better texture imagery to it. So we'll give that a little bit of time. Okay, so that's already done. Next what we need to do is we need to look at um, the sorts of roads, paths or buildings that you might want to import. So if I was to go to roads, um, there's a few settings that you can play around with, uh, but if I click on roads, it will then import those. And again, just give it some time. Okay, so it's done that. You can see the roads have been imported. And of course, it's geometry and SketchUp, so if I double click on it over here, you can see that it's actual surfaces um, and if we were to eye drop the texture we could edit that texture just in case you wanted to you know have a lighter texture showing on your map next we can go to pathways and you can merge it with the surface as well but it recommends not to because it might take a, a quite a bit of time um, okay so we'll try that again so I just needed to select the image first before it would add the pathways and you can see it's added it in a lighter grey so if I darken up that road just again you can see the lighter grey pathways um, throughout the model next if we go to buildings um, we can randomize the height so I don't think it has the height data but it definitely has the footprint data so if we go to buildings it's now going to generate the buildings. Oh, okay, it actually has some decent height um, from some of those taller buildings and the sky towers, a cylinder. Um, but what is quite cool is if you go onto the map again, double click on one of the buildings, or the group of the buildings, and then double click within that to on that individual building, we can now get the push pull tool and we can, you know, adjust it as we please. So great for just getting in, you know, information straight into SketchUp to start designing. Um, if we click on water, again, I just got to pre-select that surface before I hit water, and it will map out where the water is. Um, and then also, if I just keep that selected, I can select the trees option and import just generic trees um, to kind of build up that that footprint. 
Okay, so if we have a look on more of a horizontal level, you can see that we've been able to quickly go in there and import some data. Now what's really cool is that if I now want to have a, um, a placemaker tour, if I click on that, um, it takes you into like a, a street view. So you can spin around, I might just make this a little bit smaller. So it's like a, a bit of a street view um, and it's giving you a live update in SketchUp as you do it. So if I click down the road, it's yeah going to take you down and then you'll be able to see basically how it all looks inside of um, in SketchUp. So it's a pretty quick and easy tool to use and, and just fill out um, a cityscape. So that's Plates Maker, just a real quick overview for you guys that are into urban design.